As a tech, it's always exciting when a new tool or product shows up to the shop. The investment made by a shop owner into new equipment and tooling always has a few goals in mind. Increase profitability, increase proficiency, streamline processes, and make things easier for those that are using it. It wasn't long ago that I was still using plumb bobs and masking tape and a tape measure to complete ADOS calibrations. Not to mention a multitude of OE and aftermarket scan tools depending on the vehicle that was being calibrated. You can imagine my excitement when Hunter rolled in the new DOS 3000 and ADOS link system that you see here. All the targets, cameras, and tools needed to perform a complete ADOS calibration are found in a unit that can be easily moved around to work where needed in the shop. Now remember, like I mentioned in the previous video, it is important to have good lighting. A level floor or hunter alignment rack works well too, and plenty of space to correctly set up and perform calibrations. Let's take a look at the unit and its features. So right in front of us is our target box. This is a convenient place where we can keep all of our targets right in our unit at all times. Let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what we've got. So as you can see here, everything is nicely laid out to be able to find the target for the vehicle that you're working on per application that you're working on as well. It could be a front radar or a windshield calibration and the targets that you need are going to be found right there. And if we look inside of here also we have a target storage box reference chart which will be able to locate and store them in the correct locations for the next use of all the targets that can be found in this box. You'll also notice there's a couple empty spaces to allow for further or newer targets that may come out depending on the vehicles. And we'll take a look at the construction of one of these. This is for the Mazda. This isn't cardboard. This isn't cheap plastic. These are quality reusable targets that aren't going to disintegrate or anything of those sorts or get damaged. They have the clip on the back to mount to our target rail and you'll see that a little bit later on to keep them secured into place. And they all go back right inside here. And we have an array of targets as you've seen when we showed the actual sheet that showed all of the different targets. So right here you can see we have our rear target clamps and the target is attached to it. This will attach directly to the rear wheels and the camera will use this target to be able to find and measure the distance on the vehicle and each time that we're doing a calibration that this is required. Some cars, again, have some different procedures depending on the calibration you're performing. May not need a target board, but we may need a prismatic radar reflector, commonly used for Honda, Hyundai, Kia, Mazda, and Toyota. And this is what this is right here, and it's going to be included with our ADOS system, the DOS 3000. This is the radar reflector that they're going to be talking about that you'll be setting up and using depending on that front radar, millowave radar calibration. Nice thing is, is that everything's in one unit. It is easy to adjust the height and then lock it into place as well. Another really great feature about this is the fact that I still don't need a tape measure. We had talked about tape measures before. We don't need one with that. With this, we've got a nice tool here that we slide this over and what we have here is a laser distance measuring tool. Instead of the tape measure that we're gonna pull out and measure, this will handle that for us. That fits perfectly in here, like so, to get that distance we need from the front milliwave radar. So it's all gonna be set up right there. Again, no tape measure or anything like that. This is a precise measurement that we get to use anytime we are performing and using anything with this prismatic radar. So what we have here is also another target that will be used with the rear and also the cameras will be recognizing this. This will help us determine the reference or the center line of the vehicle. The ADOS link will walk you through where it needs to go, typically on one of the front wheels, and it'll also have you identify and move this accordingly, typically in the actual center of the rim will this be pointed to when you're doing your calibrations. Another great feature on this, and a thing that's obviously 
going through a lot of changes is your surround view or those large bird's eye views that these cars are providing. All of those systems need calibrated as well and they're gonna require the use of special mats. The DOS 3000 has all of those included with the kit and I've got a couple of them out here right here still in their containers themselves and then I brought this one out so we can see what it looks like unrolled. Again, depending on the procedure you're working on, different mats will be required. The placement will be given on where to put them in relationship to the cameras for calibration. It'll walk you through every part of it. Just remember, you're gonna need a lot of room for these larger mats that are in these tubes. Some of them are much larger, like, much larger than this one. So keep that in mind as well. Couple more things I do wanna show you, but I'm gonna to wanna to roll this around so we get a little bit of an idea of how easily this moves. And another feature on here that's really important to remember, and that's the brakes here. This locks this cabinet into place and keeps it from moving during your calibration. We don't want any movement to occur that could affect any of the calibrations that you're in the middle of. So I'm gonna release the brakes. And again, our handles are right here. This is how you move this unit, and it moves real nice and easy. But we're gonna slowly bring this around so we can take a look at some of the other features on here. So you can see right now, I just have a large board kind of just hanging out here right now. And you can see this is one used for the Subaru. But again, different larger boards can be used for either reflective type surfaces or for something for the actual windshield camera to see. And it's really easy to change these. Just like so, I've removed that. I've got another larger one back here, and I like to just keep these stored back there at all times. Depending on the vehicle you're working on, they're gonna direct you to use different hooks. All of the hooks are numbered and they all correspond to a place right on the rack. So when you do set anything up, you know exactly where to put it and exactly where it's going to go on the rack. And a convenient place to store them is right over there on the side. We also have the actual height measurement right here as well. Again, like I said, no more tape measures. So we know the exact height that we're setting up, the requirement for the ADOS calibration that we're performing. So also this is great because this does slide up and down and lock our targets into place or the reflective board that we're going to use. And again, the height measurement over here on the side tells us exactly where we need to be. And the ADOS link will walk you through that as well so you don't have any guesswork on where everything is supposed to be. Next, we're gonna take a look at the cameras. We have cameras on these. So we talked about those rear reflector boards already and how they clamp onto that rear wheel. These are the cameras and those are looking for the rear wheels and they will line up. And again, the ADOS link will tell you, is the angle off a little bit? Maybe we need to adjust that plate a little bit on that rear wheel, because we can do that. And again, this is what they'll be looking for when you're doing the calibration to develop that center line and the distance requirements that we need to properly do an ADOS calibration. So we've shown exactly where the larger boards were mounted and used in some of the reflective style calibrations. What we also have the ability to do and what we will use at times is the target bar itself for some of those smaller targets that we had mentioned already. And we're gonna go ahead and mount this and see that's where our targets are gonna go. This is really easy to mount. It's gonna go right here in the center and you can almost hear that it pulled in because it's magnetic on both sides as well. We do have the ability to make sure that it's level as indicated by the actual level indicator right here. And we also have the height marked right on here so we know where we're gonna set up the height depending on the application we're going to do. I had mentioned that this is also where we mount those smaller targets depending on what we're going to go ahead and, and calibrate. And we'll take a look at that real quick. You can see these targets here on the back. They have an indentation that will line up and only go on one way. And it'll mark right in there. And we also can slide that back and forth. We do have a mark up top here. 
That'll tell us the distance that's required to set these up in the correct calibration. And we do have a safety clip as well that we will install to make sure nothing happens or we accidentally drop the target. So we can see back here, we had a couple other components that we hadn't talked about, and they're really gonna be very useful when you're doing your front reflector radar type calibrations. And this again, will walk you through everything, but depending on the vehicle you're working on, they're gonna have you position and change the angle essentially of the actual reflective board. And it's all done right here. And it's all labeled one, two, and three respectively. And of course, last thing, don't forget, everything needs to be level. And we do have the ability to make sure that everything is level before we start our calibrations, just by either turning this knob and put us into level anytime we're using those front reflective radar style boards. So one of the most important parts of this is the ADOS link. This is a scan tool that we're gonna be using to communicate with our vehicles and perform our calibrations along with our fixtures and our targets and our cameras. This can be used for domestic, Asian, and European vehicles all the way back to 1996. We have the ability to scan and do quick scans, which are complete in 60 seconds. We have the ability to be wireless, which gives you the freedom to move around throughout the bay, and that's gonna be very important when we're doing our ADOS calibrations. This is also J2534 compliant for factory programming with your OE subscription and a PC. It's also FCA certified for secure gateway module access, which is obviously really important for your Chrysler uh, vehicles. Also has up to 14 hours of runtime and weeks on standby, giving you more time on tool and less time on the charger. Also has the ability for dynamic or driving ADOS calibrations, which is a little different than your static ones, but is also just as important depending on the vehicle that you're working on. Also, the ADOS link provides on-screen guidance. This really walks you through step-by-step step the process, the targets you're gonna need, and the way to set it up for the vehicle that you're working on. Also, this scan tool is not just limited to ADOS. This can be used for all of your diagnostics in your shop. We have full documentation, which means it's going to save our pre and post scans, and it's recallable, printable, so that we have a complete digital record and a copy to provide for the customer showing that everything was done correctly from the time you walked it in to the time it leaves your shop. From the precision digital measurements to the intuitive user interface, the DOS 3000 and the ADOS link is designed to take the guesswork out of the calibration. Commonized OE procedures simplify setup and calibration processes, saving shops time and money by getting customer vehicles calibrated faster and with the confidence that it's done right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.